Welcome everyone to Really Dicey. Today we're going to talk about DCC Annual, another book from um, Dungeon Crawl Classics. What can you tell us about this, Matt? Firstly, this is a really interesting book. So one of the philosophies behind Dungeon Crawl Classics is um, the avoidance of rules bloat. I and mean, we all know what that is, right? The a game comes out, you know, get the rule book, and they say, all you need is the rule book. And then, you know, a couple months later, they, oh, well, here's a monster's manual. Okay, I guess I need that too. And, and then a little while later, it says, well, here's the GM guide. Like, okay, I guess I need that too. And, and then they keep saying, well, here's another supplement and here's another supplement. You know, well, that has a good side. I mean, you, you want to see more things you like. The downside is if every one of those books just keeps adding more and more rules, the game just not only gets more and more complicated, but now the rules are spread out all over the place. And what started is, you know, a game that you needed one book for is a game you need six books for, and you've got to look through them all to find the rules and everything. So DCC wanted to avoid that. And uh, for the most part, they really have. They haven't come up with any other books. And so the idea is, what is this book? Well, what they wanted to do is, they didn't want rules blow, but they did want to create more things, just more worlds and monsters and, and magic items and just more stuff. They were feeling creative. And so their idea was that they were going to, every year, put on an annual, which would be like a collection of all the stuff that they'd, they'd written. In the introduction, they said that the best thing possibly could have happened, the fan base did that for them. There, um, there's been a flood of third party creating stuff for DCC. Websites, magazines, you know, all sorts of stuff. Goodman Games decided there was no need for an annual, but they still had all this stuff put together. So they put, they put out the one and only annual. <laughs> so right away, it really shouldn't be called an annual <laughs> because there's only one of them. <laughs> so it is a uh, supplementary book of just extra stuff. It is in no way necessary. You don't need it. But if you love DC, you're going to love this book because it gives you more of that sort of stuff. Um, as you pointed out, it's organized really strangely. It starts with chapter five. <laughs> chapter five, chapter seven, chapter eight, chapter nine. So what they're doing is uh, the chapters in this book correspond to the chapters in the rule book. So it starts with chapter five because the first book in here talks about magic. And chapter five is magic and rule. So you start out with um, the one thing that I really wanted from DCC, clerical gods. If you remember from our review, I kind of complained that whereas the wizard's patrons got pages and pages of write-ups, there was one chart for all the gods that the cleric could use. And I thought that was kind of short shifting the uh, clerics. But in here, they make up for that. They include uh, over half a dozen gods for the clerics to choose from, which is great. They couldn't restrain themselves. There's also a bunch of new patrons. <laughs> you really love the patrons for some reason. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the patrons are cool. It's, they have a, a, moving on to chapter six, they have a great um, section for um, escapades in between the big adventures. So your characters go on their adventure, they, they, they bring down the tower of the elephant god and, and they come back to town and they're spending all their, their loot. Um, there's a chart, things that can happen to them, strange occurrences that can happen to them between adventures. Things like, you know, some of their ancestors died and the characters are being haunted by their great grandmother. Or, you know, one of my per personal favorites, a dog starts talking to them. It just just comes up and starts talking to them perfectly normal and asks them to do something. <laughs> you know, um, the dead rise from the local cemetery and start following your players around. Not attacking them, just following them around. And of course, all the innkeepers and the shopkeepers and the townsfolk don't like this and they want to know what's going on. So as a whole, there's a whole table of things of adventure seeds that you can build on, which is great fun. Uh, there's even a, uh, a short mini setting for the lost continent of uh, Mu, 
which you can just kind of develop into your own setting. There's a uh, chapter eight, which is about uh, magic rings um, and patron weapons. Patron weapons is when someone pisses off their patron and they put your soul in a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> So there's all chapter on what it's like to have your soul stuck in a dagger, or what you can do if you have a dagger with someone's soul stuck in it. That sort of thing. There's a fantastic section on mysterious manuscripts. This is all, this is about half a dozen really fantastic books that your characters can find. Spell books and, and novels, journals and things. And, and again, they're just fantastic adventure scenes. You can read the book and use this to start a whole whole adventure there is a section on named swords all right so from the main rule book it tells you how to make magic swords it's a big deal about how they're all special and all names and everything well here's a collection of the of uh, examples all sorts of named swords and what they want to do and a surprising number of them want to kill elves for some reason <laughs> 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 So, uh, you know, and then there's a section on, uh, there's a, there's chapter nine, which is monsters, which is great. You've got um, a list of monsters, a list of how to make monsters, uh, charts on how to put together monsters. One of the guiding principles of uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics was there, was there was going to be no monster menu. Every monster is different. They don't want players to know, ah, that's an orc, and that's a troll, and whatever. So all the monsters are unique. But at the same time, they said, well, it's asking a lot of the DM to have them come up with new monsters all the time. So here's a collection of a bunch of monsters for you to use. So, uh, they're great. They're really strange. Guarantee none of your players are going to have ever seen anything like these before. The book ends with uh, an appendix on mustache magic. Yes, mustache magic. Uh, one of the things that DCC has already had going for it is this crazy 75. Look at this guy in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this sort of disco from hell vibe going on. And uh, this chapter just dives right into it. Apparently, if you have a really good, fantastic mustache, it might be noticed by the god of mustaches and you can use it to cast spells and fight in mustache duels with other people. It's absolutely ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun. Um, this is a great book if you love Dungeon Crawl Classics. Um, it's, it's put together as well as the uh, rule book. You know, it's got wonderful art in it. It's the same style. It's just a mini rule book. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, I did take a quick peek in that book, and I have to say I love the uh, the expansions to clerics, like you said, uh, the patrons. Uh, Matt, it's it's a it's a great book. Uh, it's it's I understand DCC's reluctance to put out more source books, and I, I respect them for that. But if they ever did, they would be amazing, like that book. Yes, they they they, they are a company that uh, has a lot of style and uh, really puts out quality material really good stuff this is no exception okay <laughs> so what what would you rate this book no oh, out of yeah. three out of 18. yes 18 zero zero with a beautiful mustache all right everyone uh uh thank you for that one commenter uh, who told us about that book uh, it's been it's, yes. it's been a, a joy um thank if you. you have more stuff to recommend to us please let us know we'll be happy to look into it and have a great day.